Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's take a look again on the euro currency. We also briefly will take a look at the British pound on the hourly chart because currently we actually do not need a uh, picture of the daily chart because well, every, everything mostly stands the same. We're interesting right now in performance on intraday charts because as we said, we are watching for some exhausting of this upward pullback that has the foundation on performance of the 10 year on general interest rates in the United States. So you can see that the 10 year yield turns to some significant retracement on the weekly chart. It looks even better. So which suggests that maybe downside continuation could happen a bit longer on the next few within the next weeks. But we should clearly understand that this is not the economical reason. This is purely political geopolitical situation that now we see in the Middle East because as evaluation of the credit credit quality of the United States debt hasn't changed. So and uh, once the first shock of this impact will be over, everything will return back. Because currently, guys, those of you who read our Telegram channel who are generally watching for the news, you probably already know that the United States debt right now is rising for the one trillion per month. So this is outstanding pace of the debt increase. Besides recently, you know probably that uh, Joe Biden has made the order to um, use the strategical oil reserves because of the conflict in the Middle East. It means that today we will be watching not only for CPI numbers, which will be my, very important today, because yes, the PPI has shown surprising upward uh, tick so it uh, has been released 2.7 against 2.3 expected on the core PPI, which is actually a bit surprising. Um, and today the CPI numbers will be particularly interesting. But the second, it's also everybody will be watching for crude oil reserves. What's going on in the United States right now? So it might be also significant impact on the markets from this data as well. Meantime, um, on the euro currency and on the British pound, we could see that the, the nature of the price action tells you that this is not major reversal this is not changing of the trend direction this is uh, not the um, some some kind of the uh, change of the fundamental background we do not see anything of this sort this is a bit choppy heavy and it shows that it's temporal and uh, it's definitely the pullback now market has reached one or six thirty eight area so uh, on the it's not at the very bad so just at the fib level on a lower time frame, it has reached few targets. So we take a look. Um, it's mostly um, better on the hourly chart. You could see that market has uh, standing to a few targets. So first of all, this is extension of this downside action, which stands right there around one or six seventy. And also, this is XOP with this uh, ABCD pattern. It's also around one or six sixty two but it's already starts showing some slowdown. So you can see how choppy price action stands right there. It's definitely market has some difficulties with the upward continuation or just preparing for report of the CPI numbers. On the four hour time frame chart, we have also larger ABCD pattern with the OP, but it stands precisely at the same area, one or 666. So I would say that around one or 665, we have the cluster of the targets. For the perfect picture, of course, we would like to see the market hits these levels and then starting something, starting the retracement that we are watching for. Besides, this level probably will be the 50% uh, of the downside action from this top to this lows is probably around one, will be around a 50% resistance, which is favored for, for euro. But at this point, guys, I do not see, uh, well, the particular patterns that could suggest that we are going right to this target. Um, I would say that with this current performance, I, it, it makes sense to watch what will happen because market could start downward action. 
So just watch for the patterns today. And if you compare this picture with the Great British Pound, you will see that market already has touched this uh, target. So it has touched this XA extensions 127. And here is a uh, market has completed the butterfly that we have mentioned today. Uh, sorry, yesterday, so 1618 extension has been touched. So it's also around 123 area. For the Great British Pound, all this stuff is happening around the FIB level, also around the FIB level, 123. If today we will get stronger CPI numbers, the pullback indeed could start it. Because the first shock right now is fading on the Middle East events. Uh, now it's the gradual is start turning for a routine for, for the overall markets and they will return back to the old problems with the inflation, debt, Fed meeting, and so on. So that's why uh, we need to keep an eye on. And here you also see why we call to not take position until we will not get clear pattern, because this is dangerous. Uh, returning back to the euro currency, uh, this is the point that we have discussed two days ago, where we said that maybe it makes sense to take the long position. If you remember, we discussed either downside ABC retracement or in immediate upper direction. And we said, take use gradual entry. So take some small position right here. And if market will show the ABCD, you could add more. And you can see what has happened. Market has not shown any downside action and starts up protection. That's why um, the splitting of the position and taking position in parts, it's a very useful tool, especially when you are not sure on the depth of the retracement, how it will be, but you're more or less sure on the direction. From that standpoint, it makes sense to consider this approach. So that being said, Currently, it seems that our prediction shows signs of this housing, and we should keep an eye on the CPI numbers to see whether we will get some clear bearish reversal pattern that will let us to step in, uh, because market stands around the FIB levels, FIB resistance, and you can see how cheap price action is. So let's keep watching.